Have you ever noticed how this music just makes you want to take a bike ride? I want to get on my wheels and just go as far as I can until I like scrape my knee and need my mommy or something. Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we took on the leader of the Cerulean Gym, which was Misty, the water type trainer. And speaking of water types, today we're going to be taking on a very, very elusive water type that has been running away from us but teasing us this entire game over. We have only three badges left in the Kanto region, so after we capture this Pokemon, we'll be well on our way to becoming a double champion, and I think that's pretty crazy. So, if you guys are excited to go after a legendary Pokemon in today's video, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below. Now we're here in Fuchsia City, chilling with the Scrambler who looks very, very happy. And you know what? If I were a flying egg airplane thing, I'd be pretty happy too, man. That's always been my dream. Flying, being an egg, you know. I've had some weird dreams since I was a kid. But either way, the way that we get to this Pokemon is heading through Fuchsia City to the east, which is an exit that we have not yet taken. Here on Route 15, we're going to go ahead and throw a Repel up because there are quite a few trainers on this route that are going to want to fight us, but we ain't got any time for that. By the way, these are some of the things that... um. Oh my gosh, yo, 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 we got a choice scarf and a muscle band, hold up. <laughs> uh, these, are the, these are some of the things that we got from um, our mom. Our mom actually bought us some very, very nice gifts. So we're going to go ahead and give Noodle the muscle band, I guess, because that ups physical power moves. And uh, choice scarf, I don't think we want to use this just yet, but I opened the bag to put up a max repel, and I didn't even remember to put up a max repel. Gee, silly me. I did go shopping off screen, by the way. I think we have like 55 Ultra Balls or something like that because you guys know my luck when it comes to catching extra special Pokemon. What does this say? Oh, north to Lavender Town? I suppose we'll make our way there someday. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and avoid all these trainers, grab ourselves a Rose Incense. And uh, what does a Rose Incense do, actually? I feel like that might boost grass moves, maybe? Uh, yes, boost grass moves. Hey, I guessed it. I am the king of guessing. Not that Rose wasn't in the name, making it incredibly easy to guess, but hey, that is irrelevant. Just let me have my moment of glory, please. Um, so we are going to want to come over this way, I do, but oh god, don't you dare look at me, Mr. Trainer Dude. Don't you dare look at me either, Mr. Ball Dude, but you, you can look at me. Suicune is here again! No, don't run away for the 50th time, jeez. Where's you seen? Yep, as always, he's here too. Brian, not again. I'll be there first next time. Having followed it here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune is after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself, but I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near water. Somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet. It will be just you and me who will find it first. I challenge you! I'm gonna stand here! I'll give you a head start because it's not like you've won every time so far. What's wrong, Brian? To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself, but I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune. You know, you're starting to sound like you have like a crush on Suicune or something. Like, I want to be a stand-up guy just for Suicune, which is kind of weird, dude. You can go ahead and stand up right there while I fly over to Cerulean City because the place that we'll be finding Suicune next is... As he said, a hilly place near the water, and in the last episode, actually, right before we took on Misty, we went to a hill near the water, a very romantic-looking hill, and one that would be suitable for a legendary Pokemon battle. So, we're gonna head to the place where we crashed Misty's date. Ha ha ha! We're gonna have all types of legends surrounding us, first of all. We're gonna catch an amazing legendary Pokemon in this area. Second of all, we crashed a legendary date in this area and ruined... A gym leader's relationship and we will be famous for that and I keep forgetting to grab this item I'll get it right after we get something far more important because Suicune is awaiting us here um who do I want out front actually I have no idea <laughs> oh gosh uh I guess let's put um blackberry out front sure yeah that sounds good <laughs> why not but either way, Suicune is awaiting us atop the romantic hill. <sighs> I am no match for you. Probably because you ran that whole way and I just flew, as I predicted. Go ahead. Since I met you in the Burn Tower at Ecritique City, I've sort of known that Suicune would choose you. 
Take a look at it. Suicune is waiting for you. It has been waiting for a battle with a worthy trainer to whom it can entrust itself. Ah, oh, man, this is heartbreaking. This is Yuzine's passion. Take a look at it. Oh, you already said all that. This is Yuzine's passion, but we're just gonna steal it out from under his nose. Which I'm totally fine with, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and save, so I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to take on Suicune, and I decided actually the first Pokemon to lead with this fight should be Chicken Leg, the legendary Ho-Oh, who's looking down steadily and really doesn't care what's going on right now. Suppose we should probably use him a little bit more, he might warm up, but let's go ahead and face off against the legendary. Suicune, who has been watching us this entire game, and I love Suicune, man. Suicune is such an awesome Pokemon. Ever since I saw Suicune in Pokemon Forever, I thought this thing was, like, the most amazing Pokemon in the world, because, oh my god. Wow, it's gonna use Rain Dance, really? Cancel out our sun? <laughs> Are we just gonna have a weather battle over here? Okay. Get in the news reporters, because we gotta have somebody to report on this crazy weather that's going on. But, ever since I saw this thing in Pokemon Forever, like, walking on water, and ever since I saw it in Pokemon Coliseum, actually, with whatever Cypher admin had it, I believe it was, um... The, the woman in the underground place, I don't remember her name, Venus or something like that? But this thing is just so majestic and beautiful and powerful looking, and it's a really good Pokemon too! It's like really defensive, so it's like really, really useful in um, competitive battles if you want to use it. It's so, so cool! I, also, I tried to have it on my Ruby and Sapphire team, which was kind of awkward because I didn't get rid of my Swampert either, which was like, WHOA! OH MY GOD, CHICKEN LEG, THAT WAS PERFECT! <laughs> that was beautiful! Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh! Yo! That was the most beautiful thing! Chicken, like, I am sorry for keeping you in that PC box. You got company with Maple or whatever, but... Man, I needed to take you on a walk or something once in a while, because that was the most beautiful, perfect attack that I have ever seen in my life. Either way, now we're gonna send out the Scrambler, and it's gonna use a Roar Beam on us. Dang it, I was hoping it would go for another Gust, and we wouldn't have to take this super effective Roar Beam, but Scrambler has got that... Oh, wow, that spicy special defense, which is going to make that Aurora Beam do nothing. Jeez, that was crazy, Scrambler. I respect it. You are awesome. Despite the fact that that was a critical hit, ain't nothing going to take us out. But yeah, Suicune's got the long, flowing, majestic purple locks. The uh, long, flowing ribbon things. And I think this is probably... I don't know if it's my favorite legendary dog, but I absolutely love it. So, let's go ahead and chuck an Ultra Ball out there. And see if we can't start trying to catch this thing. Uh, I do have 55 Ultra Balls, as you can see, I stocked up off-screen because I know that this is going to take about 400 bazillion attempts, <laughs> if it's anything like trying to catch ho -Oh was. But, uh, I have faith in us, you know? Like, look at this. Suicune's asleep with no HP, and those Aurora Beams are doing nothing to us. But yeah, I didn't want to get rid of the Swampert off my team in Ruby and Sapphire when I was a kid, because I was just so attached to it, so I just kind of, you know, left it on there and put Suicune on too. Oh my god, I thought we had it! Oh, one shake away, man. I hate that moment when you know, like, after the two or three shakes or whatever, but when you know you're not going to catch it and the ball hasn't broken yet, it just takes that one, like, nanosecond longer. But you feel it, because you know exactly how long it's supposed to take to catch a Pokemon. And it's just, oh, it's the most annoying and, like, frustrating. It's the worst feeling in the world, basically. Before the ball breaks, when you know you're not going to catch it, you're like, ah, oh, dang it, man. So, so unsatisfying, but can we? Ah, oh, dang it, two shakes, I thought we had it. But yeah, I don't know. I just have a lot of great memories of Suicune, man. It's just so, so majestic and wise looking, I guess. I'd say it's probably my second favorite of the legendary dogs. I really, really like Entei just because of um, Entei's appearance in Pokemon 3000. I thought that movie was absolutely awesome, even though it was so, like, weird because Entei could, like, talk. But he was shooting purple fire all over the place, man, and that was like, whoa, that was super cool. And it was a really, really unique like, persona for a Pokemon, I guess, because Entei wasn't, like, a bad Pokemon or, like, evil or anything. He just had a weird way of thinking about things, plus his connection with the unknown, man. Everybody knows how shady they are. Who's your guys' favorite legendary dog? My order would probably be number one, Entei, and the reason for that, actually, is because I used it in, um, well, didn't use it, but I really liked it in Pokemon Coliseum, I guess. Uh, just because you get it from that dude on Mount Battle who's, like, ridiculously designed, and that was just a really, really good, um, memory for me. Mount Battle sticks out in my mind because I spent so much time there getting all my third-gen Pokemon to level 100. So, Entei's probably my favorite because of the purple fire. 
and the powerful look, and he looks old and wise. He looks like an old man with, like, a big old wise man mustache, you know, like the, what's it called, a Fu Manchu, the really long, like, mustache. I really love Entei. Uh, Suicune is my second favorite, just because Suicune is so sleek and so wise looking and so beautiful, and Pokemon Forever also. And then Raikou is probably my least favorite, because it's so annoying in Smash Bros. Melee. Oh my god, I hate that thing in that game. That thing comes out, and it shocks the entire world, and it's just taking up the entire stage, thinking it's all important, thinking it's all cool, but you're not cool, Raikou. God, you're such a jerk. Either way, uh, that was a critical hit, and the Scrambler does not care one bit about the fact that this weekend is hitting us with attacks left and right, because we ain't got no time to worry about some foolish stuff like that. We got all sorts of Ultra Balls to be chucking at this thing. We've already used, like, ten, I believe, after this one. So Suicune is not exactly cooperating the best that it possibly could. Nope. One shake. That's all we get. <laughs> I can't believe that, um... Chicken Legs Fly earlier got this thing down to exactly as much HP as we wanted it to, man. That is awesome. It, mm, the one thing about having Chicken Leg out front at first was that its pressure probably reduced the PP of this thing a little bit too much. Because my biggest concern with catching legendary Pokemon in this game, this actually happened off screen a couple times when I was um, trying to catch Chicken Leg in the first place, is that their PP goes down so far and eventually they start using Struggle. Which happens, if you didn't know, if you run out of PP, you use Struggle, which is basically a uh, normal, no type move. Oh my gosh, yes, we got Suicune! Forget my babbling, dude, we got it, yes, with barely any problems, too, that's awesome, Suicune is on our team. <laughs> Said to be the embodiment of North Winds, it can instantly purify filthy, murky water, and we got Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon, the first of the legendary dogs, yes, we're gonna nickname this thing, and I haven't thought about this at all, so, uh, ooh, what should we do, give me a sec. Alright, I was trying to think of different brands of water, I thought of Aquafina, Dasani, Smart Water, stuff like that, but, um, I got a bottle sitting here right in front of me. <laughs> and I just think it's hilarious when you, like, degrade legendary Pokemon, so I got a bottle of that young Kirkland Signature Costco water in front of me, so, we're gonna go ahead and name Suicune Kirkland. <laughs> oh my god, I love it! Brian, you two are truly amazing. I've never seen a battle this intense! I have no regrets. Farewell, Suicune. Farewell, Brian. Goodbye, Yuzine, and that is the last that we're going to see of him. Unfortunately, we kinda crushed his dreams, but we got ourselves a legendary Pokemon in the process, who we named after the cheapest type of water at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I can't believe we did that with, like, barely any problems. That's so awesome. We got ourselves a Suicune, guys. I'm so excited. Suicune and Entei, and even Raikou, and Ho-Oh, and Lugia, basically all the legendaries from this generation are super, super nostalgic to me, man. They just have such a huge place in my childhood through Pokemon Coliseum and through just, like, seeing the anime and the movies and stuff like that, and I'm so happy that we got a Suicune. And if you guys are happy as well, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below if you haven't already, because this is going to be the end of this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Oh, I'm so satisfied we ended that on such a good note, and barely had any problems there. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and next time, we're going to be doing our last bit of preparations before we head off for the rest of the gyms in Kanto, so I hope you tune in then. Thanks once again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.